guys welcome back to my channel finally <laughs> so um i wanted to come in today just to do like a quick candid video with you guys um simply because i haven't uploaded in a while and the reason i haven't is because i pre-filmed a few weeks ago and both of those videos either featured or contained Eco Styler and both of those videos were filmed before all this madness with Brie Hall and the hubbub over triethanolamine and all this eco is killing us and blah blah blah. Um, I wasn't going to film a video on this, but honestly, like with my content, I never know what's going to catch fire and what won't. And I just had this feeling that like I would post the Eco Styler review that I filmed and for some reason it would get like a ton of views and then I had to deal with the comments of what people had to say <laughs> about um why are you using eco styler and a whole lot of people like to say well oh your third eye isn't that open you know like <laughs> um so I figured it was about time that I just go ahead and come in film this video do a quick upload and talk to you guys about this and I'm not going to beat this like a dead horse um, because I've made the conscious decision to do my own research. Um, you guys know that I do have a science background. I just graduated with my degree in, in environmental sustainability that requires a lot of lab time, a lot of, you know, time working in the same settings as biologists and chemists. So. I have this background, I have this knowledge, I have the tools to research. I did this research a long time ago, okay? <laughs> so I, I have never been unaware of these ingredients. And I just wanted to bring some things to your attention because I feel like, I'm sure you've heard this a million times, and it's true. One person who was really popular brought this up and all of a sudden you guys care. Now I can pull quite a few videos <laughs> Um, of people talking about the ingredients in Eco Styler and how they affected their hair and whether those ingredients really were harmful or not, I can go back at least three years finding videos that people ignored, that people had reactions or whatever. I know Ebony with a V had a reaction to the Coconut Eco Styler. I'm pretty sure Will on a Whim um, did a couple of videos about not using Eco Styler anymore because he had a reaction to it. It gave him scalp irritation, it gave him scabs. Um, finally, Amber, formerly Hair Mary, she did a video about a year ago about the ingredients in Eco Styler. Um, who else? Raina from Happy Curl, Happy Girl has also done videos at least acknowledging the ingredients in Eco Styler. So these things have been here and they have been here with YouTubers that I feel like we frequently watch and our community has ignored them. So instead of just making this a video about Eco Styler, I also wanted to talk about the irresponsibility in the natural hair community because I'm honestly just kind of tired of it. So let's go ahead and get into what I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you wanted to know. Am I canceling Eco Styler? what is being explained is in a large concentration. Um, and at the end of the day, there is nothing conclusive that proves that Eco Styler causes cancer. Um, now, anyone can, t can you know, backflip that and say, well, if you're not sure about it, then you shouldn't use it. But let's be real, at the end of the day, we use things every single day that have a potential <laughs> that has not been proven to cause cancer, i.e. the coffee you drink. Now I know a whole lot of y'all drink coffee, 
and I know that y'all don't plan on throwing all of your coffee out because it possibly, possibly could have the risk of becoming a potential carcinogen. I'm not throwing my Eco Styler out. And I just want to point this out to you guys because everyone has been, you know, praising Brie Hall. No one wants to say the obvious that she caused a mass scare. And the issue that I have, and you know, she kind of tried to backflip in her second video. And by the way, I'm not I'm not linking anything that Brie Hall has posted because to me, as a fellow scientist, as someone who has worked in commercial labs and will continue to work in commercial labs who has this knowledge I'm not going to link anyone that follows me and trusts my opinion to someone that practices bad science and I think no one has really been willing to say that I can appreciate someone coming out and saying hey this is my reaction this is what happened because we can have allergic reactions to anything but the way in which she presented that and she says that she, you know, she didn't see all this coming with people saying that it caused cancer and all this stuff, but yet and still she still released a video that was entitled, Gels That Won't Kill You. <laughs> so she, she's on this train, she's on this bandwagon, and she's profiting off of it. Even though she says she didn't see this coming, she's still profiting off of the way that this rolled into a game of telephone, and everyone is now believing that Eco Styler is going to kill them. At the end of the day, she talked about her credentials in that video. She went on and on about how she graduated from a math and science program with a 4.2 GPA and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, y'all, I've been watching everything. I've been keeping it in my memory bank. Regardless, if she had made that claim in a scientific setting and only had a YouTube video initially, to back up what she was saying, a YouTube video that only basically had safety data sheets. If we're going to be honest, um, she she would have failed her classes and she wouldn't have had a 4.2. That's not good science. And that's not the way you present those things to a mass audience. And things like that frustrate me because when you put something out there like that, that's how you get scares. It's how you freak people out. That's how they lose it and they can, you know, they get concerned and they throw out their hard earned money because now they're making up all the things in their head that could be wrong. All the things that have been going on with them that they feel like, well, maybe it's linked to this or maybe it's linked to that. Listen guys, at the end of the day, unless you take, unless you have an allergic reaction and you take that product to a, a, that product to a doctor, and you get those allergy testings done, you don't know what it is in that product that is bothering you. And we're focusing in on triethanolamine, but if you've been using a product that has contained tri triethanolamine since the beginning of time, and you have not had a reaction until you used a new formulation, which does not have the same ingredient composition as the other gels, I will put that to you guys. I think the Eco Gold has the longest ingredients list that I have seen on an Eco Styler gel. So where my middle fingers are, are the ingredients lists. So you can see this one is significantly longer than this one. Um, this is a very different formulation, even though people have kind of, kind of tried to knock it and say that it's not. Um, <laughs> in my review of the Eco Styler Gold, I said to a T, if you have a sensitivity to fragrance, do not buy that product. Because I knew full well, I can open I can open that jar and my friend can smell it across the room. Like, and this isn't a big room, but like, let's be real. I have other products that that doesn't happen. And this is very heavy in fragrance. I don't, it's not even that the fragrance is so high up on the list, it's just that it's a very distinct, very strong fragrance. Now, you can have an allergic reaction to anything. We all know this. And it's like I was just beginning to say, if you choose not to go get the testing done, you don't know what it is that you're allergic to. But we're pointing out triethanolamine, and triethanolamine has been in these gels since the beginning of time, and you haven't been having an allergic reaction. So maybe it's not the triethanolamine? You know? Um, and I'm not trying to discredit 
the things that she had going on because I've had that happen before. I have had sim similar allergic reactions to different products. Now, if y'all don't know my personal backstory, if you haven't been watching my channel for a while, I'm a pretty sick kid, okay? <laughs> um, within my time of just being on this earth, I have dealt with chambers in my breasts, endometriosis, PCOS, chronic migraines, and who knows, I'll probably have a whole host of other issues <laughs> by the time this is all over because if you guys know my journey, it has been hell in a handbasket. I have been a pretty chronically ill kid, um, not for being unhealthy. It's not that I'm unhealthy. I take very good care of myself. I watch what I eat. Um, and for the most part, I do watch what I put in my body. Um, but, and maybe this is because I'm a sick kid. If I notice something's not right, I write that shit down. <laughs> I get it. But I've never been in a situation where I realized that something I was using was pos like possibly had an ingredient that was bad for me. And I just said, oh, that's what's wrong with me. You know? Um, I've never done that and I never will do that. And I just, I just need you guys to understand from my perspective of someone who has been surrounded by illness her whole life. <laughs> you know, we take all these precautions and I will tell you that the majority of the people in my life who have dealt with hardcore health issues or especially cancer have done everything categorically right and they still got cancer, guys. Um, cancer is something that develops and certain things can increase your risk. That, that's a known fact. But, you know, at, we live in a world, where, a world where at the end of the day, you can do everything in your power to avoid things that cause cancer. And you may still develop cancer. So don't come at me saying I don't know what this is, you know, what this is like, because if anyone knows what it's like, it's me. People, the most important people in my life, both of my grandmothers, my father, you know, I've... Cancer has been around me my entire life. My life has been molded around cancer. And to watch people put information out there that is not completely true and not completely accurate and scaring people really irks me because it reminds me of all the times that I, I've dealt with cancer. And it, it's frustrating because if you know that actual fear you hate to see mass-induced fake fear in the community. And this is where I feel like I need to go ahead and talk about the responsibility in the natural hair community because at the end of the day, I take responsibility for what I put on and in my body. And in no way have I ever felt like eco Styler gel was natural. I never felt like it was the most amazing thing to put on your hair. I have it because, well, it's cheap. And I really like it. Um, Eco Styler was one of the first things that I tried and I absolutely hated it. It was only until like last year that I tried an Eco Styler doll that I actually enjoyed. And I found more that I really enjoy. But I make that choice because I did my research, I found the information, I put those things together for myself and I weighed those risks, I weighed those pros and cons. And there are other things in my life that I'm cutting out that are going to kill me quicker than that Eco Styler gel will, I'm telling you that. <laughs> to me, I feel like I have a greater weight on my shoulders, and I have always felt this way, than what some gel is gonna do. And the reality is, guys, if y'all were really reading the ingredients and you really cared, we could have been talking about this as a community. And we could have been reaching out to Eco Styler. <laughs> Y'all, this natural hair community is so lazy. And that's why I didn't get super caught up in it. That's why I have, you know, I watch the same few YouTubers. My natural hair journey was completely different from, every, from everyone else's because the natural hair community is that type of community where we see someone say that they did something and we automatically just flock and do it. We don't question anything, we don't research anything. 
we don't see if that thing is better or beneficial for our hair, you know, the, the community just rolls with it. No question. Why question this person? Because she knows what she's doing. Her hair is popping. But, I mean, if, if you guys really pay attention to some of your favorite YouTubers that have been responding to this, the amount of condescension in the community right now is ridiculous. And I'll just go ahead and call it out. I was really disappointed in Shantae's way, and I unsubscribed from her. Um, simply because of the way that she reacted to this whole mess. The, the laughing and basically talking crap about people. Um, using eco cellar gel and saying that she's been right this whole time and she felt like, you know, she was on her own. And yeah, my thing is, <laughs> things like that are the reason why people don't listen. It is. Things like that are the reason why people don't listen. Those types of comments, that type of leading and bragging about the life that you lead and how you've been right all along is why people don't listen because they hear the condescension. Whether people laugh at it today or tomorrow, they're still going to turn around and go get a hamburger. You know? And I guess for me, because... I've had to take classes on ethics. I've had to take classes on policy. I don't get to make these recommendations and I don't get to tell anyone that they have to make a lifestyle change without considering their own life. It's really easy for us to look at everyone and say, oh girl, here's some eco style gel alternatives because that shit's killing you. And each one is 15 to $30. I have yet to see one YouTuber that has suggested an alternative that is under $15. Actually, I'll take that back. Under $12, because I'm pretty sure people are suggesting the main choice, and that one is $11.99. People don't use Eco Styler because they want to pay $15 for a gel. Now, I budget. I'm not poor. So, I have the privilege of being able to buy a $15 gel. Or, when I really want to treat myself, sometimes I'll buy a $30 gel. But just tell me this, and this is something that I commented under Shantae's video because someone else had made a comment that she felt like the way that she handled that video was in poor taste. And she, she made that comment very kindly. She was not rude about it at all. And I just said this, uh, the exact same thing that I'm telling you guys right now, I said this under her video. If you live in an area where your grocery store doesn't even have apples, doesn't even have real groceries, how are you going to buy a $20 gel? Or how are you going to go get your ingredients to make your own flaxseed gel if you can't even find groceries to feed your family because you live in a food desert? Or let's be real, those ingredients to make that flaxseed gel, that's a meal right there. A meal that a family could be eating that that family doesn't have to put toward that. Like, let's be real. All those ingredients, and you can just go get a tub of Eco Styler for $5, and that'll last you who knows how long. Like, I'm just being real here. Um, and this is the thing, a lot of natural hair YouTubers are really freaking privileged. There's a, there's a lot of privilege there. <laughs> and it's really easy to hop on the bag wagon because it's cute, it's really easy to hop on that bandwagon because you want to get your views and you want to act like you care about people's health. Because let's be real, if you cared that much, you would have been looking at the ingredients in the first place, a la Glam Twins. They spent years talking trash about Eco Styler and then Kendra come on talking about how much she loves it. And then when all this happens, well... I've been using, I feel like I just fell in love with them and now I had to stop using them because they could have bad ingredients. Or all these people who tell you to read your ingredients. You gotta read your ingredients, you have to look at the labels, don't use anything in your hair that you can't pronounce, all this stuff. All these natural hair rules. Because that's what we do when we're in a place of privilege. We put rules in front of people that they cannot follow because not everyone lives the same lifestyle as us. We put those rules out in front of people 
And then when it's convenient, we want to switch up the game. And we want to tell people, no, never mind. We can't do that anymore. That's just so irresponsible to me. Because I know, and those of you who are watching this video know full well, that we all knew that ego styling wasn't good for us. I'm not saying it's gonna kill us, but is it a Camille Rose Naturals? No. It's not. Is it a She Sent It? No, it's not. And the thing that kills me is all the people suddenly wanting to put up one product wash and goes with cream stylers, gel free wash and goes, or, um, you know, all these videos. Let me suggest to you my favorite gels that are just as effective as Eco Styler. Guys! These videos of these products have been up for who knows how long. We know the alternatives. But if I'm being real with you, even though I have things that are similar to Eco Styler, my hair doesn't look the way it does with this in my hair when I use other products. I full well know this. And I'm not going to sit here and try to BS you guys and give you alternatives that aren't really alternatives. Because I know full well that they're not alternatives. And then yet and still, we want to talk about reading ingredients and doing better, but then all the people, Wetline Extreme is healthier than Eco Styler. Wetline Extreme is better than Eco Styler. Now, I think the highest up I've ever seen triethanolamine on Eco Styler is the, the third ingredient. Wetline Extreme has triethanolamine as the second ingredient. <laughs> so in my head, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like, this really, no one's taking this seriously. This is just a huge bandwagon movement. And my thing is, if this were about us as a community being woke, I'd be all here for it. I would. Because at the end of the day, we do have a responsibility to ourselves to monitor what we are putting in our bodies. I don't use anything on my body, on my skin, on my hair. I don't ingest anything daily unless I have a log of it. But that's because I'm a sick kid. So I write down everything. So if I ever notice something changing, I slowly start taking things away. And then if I notice that that thing gets better when I take something away, then I go to my doctor. That's how I operate. We have a responsibility to ourselves to understand that we need to monitor and we need to be mindful of what we're putting in our bodies. And we wanna blame companies for this, but we can't blame companies because if we've been talking about this five, six, seven years ago, we could have been had EcoStyler coming out with a formula that doesn't contain um, triethanolamine or sodium hydroxymethylglycinate, you know yellow number whichever you know we could have we could have been on that train we could have been on that on that actual holistic caring for one another and caring about our health bandwagon but that's not where everyone's head is at and that's why I'm just tired I'm very tired of it <laughs> I'm tired of seeing the videos about how people are throwing out their eco styler because at the end of the day I know full well that within a year, half of those people are going to come back and say, oh, I decided to revisit EcoStyler. They're going to do a whole video on it, how they decided to visit, revisit EcoStyler because nothing gets their hair popping like EcoStyler. And they feel like the, you know, the, the risk doesn't really outweigh the benefits that they have. I can already, I can see the thumbnails, guys. <laughs> I can see the thumbnails in my head. Um... And I just, I want you guys to think beyond all of this. And that was part of why I didn't want to film a video about this anyway. Because to me, I feel like I shouldn't have to say any of this. But I also feel like because I do use EcoStyler on my channel and I don't have any intentions of not using EcoStyler on my channel, because it's what I enjoy, um, I know the risks. And I don't have any issues like telling you guys what's in the product. I don't have any issues looking up, 
you know, that information for you and putting it in my videos if that is something that you guys want. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but I do feel like as someone who does use these controversial items in her content, it was only right that I filmed a video and said something about it because the next couple of videos that you see are going to have Eco Styler in them. And you can make the choice to try them out or you can make the choice not to and that is okay. But I want you guys to have a full understanding of what is being presented to you from your point of view. I want you guys to actually do your research. A lot of these YouTubers have been ending their videos well. I do employ you to do your own research, but you know, do your own research. Sit down, if you don't have access or you don't know how to properly research these things, find somebody that does. Go to your local library. Like there, there's so many options out here, guys. Don't just Google something and think that you have an, all the information on it. Um, don't just go to the Think Dirty app and think that you have all the information on it. Because guys, I can just tell you right now, I downloaded the app out of curiosity. Half the, pro the products that are on there are flagged for fragrance. I have black owned natural products where I can read every single ingredient on them that still have fragrance in there. And if they were on that app, then they'd get flagged too. Eco Styler isn't flagged for triethanolamine. It actually, on the Think Dirty app, it doesn't even mention triethanolamine, even though I know that the formulas that they have up there do have triethanolamine in them. Also, the Think Dirty app does mention that sometimes they are compensated. The Think Dirty app also, pretty much under every single product that I looked at, says that those products and the ingredients have not been completely vetted. So they don't have the full scope of information anyway. So people rely on things like that and you can't rely on things like that. Being a human, you're going to live with a form of uncertainty. And it is up to us as individuals to decide what level of uncertainty we are okay with living with. If you do not want to use Eco Styler Gel anymore because you feel like it is harming you, stop using it. If you really felt like it was bothering you, you shouldn't have kept using it anyway. Please don't do that. If you know something is causing irritation, something is harming you, you see your hair falling out, you're getting scabs on your head, and you keep using it, Please don't do that. Take care of your health. So, you know, all of that is just to say, I really just want our community, or at least a portion of us, to become more responsible and to actually hold ourselves accountable because I feel like we're always looking for other people and other companies to hold accountable when we refuse to hold ourselves accountable. And we have to start holding ourselves accountable. When we hold ourselves accountable, and we actually stay woke, <laughs> you know, um, it's easier to call out these things. It's easier to have conversations and say, hey, well, like, you're a huge company now. Maybe you can change this, you know? And that doesn't always work, but it is a start, okay? Start really thinking about the things that you're putting in your body. Really start reading your ingredients. If you don't know what something is, properly research. And like I said, if you don't know how to do that proper research, Find someone that does. Find someone that can help you so that you can have a better understanding of what you're putting on your body. So I I really hope that this video didn't come off harsh because I didn't want it to. But honestly, like this is this is some pinup anger that I've had for a while. Um, because when you work in the science community, when you when you are a scientist, when you work hard to do good research, um, and when you're someone like me who works hard to go out into, communi into communities and advocate and help and teach and, you know, work on growing these people, it's really frustrating when you see people that just get on, turn on a camera, say whatever they want to say, they don't think about it, they don't care, um, and they just go about their business. They go about their day like nothing ever happened. And that's why I unsubscribed from Shantae's way because I said everything that I just said to you guys about actually being an active advocate about healthy living, teaching people how to 
make and grow their own food. Pe teaching people how to properly store their ingredients so that they don't go bad, so that they're not wasting their money. Um, and those are the types of comments that get deleted from a lot of these people. I just want y'all to understand, it's not the super negative stuff because nothing under that thread was negative. Nothing was mean, nothing was saying that she was rude. And I, I said I didn't feel like she was trying to be rude in that video, but for someone who actually has to think about the things that come out of her mouth, like me, it did come off rude. And I'm sure it came off rude for a lot of people that weren't willing to get underneath those comments and, you know, gas her up. But even though she posted a comment underneath that video saying that she'd be willing to take it down because she didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, she still deleted the constructive comments about what she said. So to me, that says that you're disingenuous and I don't need to be following and contributing to the paycheck of someone who doesn't care. I'm just being real with you guys. And you have to really think about that. You really have to start caring about the, caring about the people that you watch. Um, I'll just tell you guys now. I haven't I haven't canceled products. I've canceled YouTube YouTube subscriptions because I've seen things that just really rub me the wrong way. And I want you guys to have proper information because you trust these people. So I I hope that you guys got something out of this video. If, I'm just gonna say this, I'm not going to do an, a whole video dedicated to ingredients. Um, there is a YouTuber who I saw who is a cosmetic chemist, and I will link her information down below because she did do sound research. Um, and a lot of the things that she found are things that I found, and I trust her as presenting sources to you guys. I'm not going to link any YouTuber that I feel like is not providing sound sources and research because so far the people that have started this conversation have yet to do that. Um, so I will link her. The only reason I'm not going to do it is because I know I'll say I'll do it and I won't, I won't have the time. I just have too much going on. I'm amazed that I even have time to film this video, <laughs> honestly. So um, I will link her video and you guys can go check her out. She has a wealth of information over there. She's really sweet, very candid, not condescending at all. So I think those of you who watch me will definitely enjoy her channel. Um, thank you guys for watching this and thank you for listening to what I had to say because I know that that was a lot to just throw into one video. Um, but it needed to be said and I really hope that this just encourages you guys to really look at the bigger picture, you know, start doing your research, start looking at your products, start looking at your ingredients. I do have a lot of videos on black owned companies coming up. Um, some things that I guess you could consider eco styler dupes and I will mention those, um, but they're not affordable. So I'll just tell you guys that they're not affordable, but if you do wanna go that route of, you know, spending a little bit of extra money to find something that's gonna give you similar results, then I got stuff for you. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, you guys for continuing to watch continuing to subscribe even though I'm super inconsistent on here. Um, that's just the life of a college kid. I'm finishing up a few more classes. It's intense. I'm working all the time so I have a lot going on. But I appreciate that every time I get on here my subscriber count is, you know, slowly climbing and you guys are still watching my content and commenting on my content. I really appreciate it. So I will see you guys in my next video. It will be an eco styler video and it will be a review. And I really hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.